Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you the Star Wings badge in Mike Grave Dinner in the Robojunk City map. Let's get started. So in order to actually do this mission, you will need this Glider Wings upgrade. So if you do not have it yet, you will not be able to get these Star Wings right over here. So you will have to get this first. I will do the tutorial on how to get this if you do need it in the description. But once you do have it, then you'll be able to collect these Star Wings right over here. So in order to actually complete this mission, you will need to collect 30 Star Wings in the sky. And they're kind of floating around and you'll need to reach them from different high areas so I will show you all those areas so that you can actually get to them right over here. So in order to get to the first area you want to follow where I go right over here. So right over here, these are the first three, and in order to actually glide, you want to roll off of a roof and press X. Then once you roll off the roof, you will continue to glide over the air area right over here. So this is the first one. It should be pretty simple. If you fall off right over there, it will just help put you back here. So you can just practice here if you're not familiar with it. And also you can speed and slow down your drift. So if you want to speed up, you can press X. And if you want to slow down, you can press X again, and it will slow down. So over here, I'm going to drift off, and then I want to slow down a bit, so I'm going to leave like this. And then you can see it goes through all of these you don't actually have to go through all of them, you just have to kind of barely touch them in order to actually get it to count. So over there, we got 3 out of 30, and those are the first 3 that we're going to get. And also, I do want to mention that you can only get these in one sitting, so if you rejoin, the other ones that you got previously will respawn back, and you will have to get them again. So you will have to do this all in one go without disconnecting if you do want to get this badge. So it's going to take a while, but if you have some time, you'll be able to get all 30 of these and get the badge. So once you get that one, you can just jump off, and then once again, it takes you back here. So in order to get the next ones, I'm going to show you where to go. And for this area, they have these falling rocks. If you touch them just barely, they will start crumbling and the floor will just appear. So you have to be very careful. These are quite sensitive, so you might not even touch them and they might just fall. So you just have to be careful here. And if you're careful, you should be able to climb up this area without having to fall down. And there are also little notes right over here, sometimes on the wall going up here, that you can use to help you out if you are struggling a bit. So right over here, the note says to press C to crouch to get a higher jump, and that should help you get to this air conditioner quicker and easier.
So over here, once you reach the roof, this is actually the highest point and the hardest point to reach to reach these last three right over here. You just want to be careful with your timing as sometimes you might go over and under. So if you see that you're going a bit high, you just want to slow down your speed so that you can make sure that you touch them and actually collect all the ones up here. So over here, you just want to roll off the edge right over here. And since I'm going a bit too fast, now I want to just slow down a bit and now I can go ahead and go through all three of these and then I should get all six. And then from here, I'm actually going to turn around and head back to the blue building that we were just at as there are quite a few of them that you still need to get from a higher point up on here. So I'm just going to flow back here and if you fell down to a lower point, you can just climb back up the same path that we're just on and then make your way up to where I'm going to go over here. So once you reach this point on the right side, there should be quite a few over here that are hanging off to the edge over this tree. So from here, you actually want to go ahead and boost once again in order to actually get the ones that are over here flowing off to the side. So over here, this should bring your total count up to 11 once you get all those over here. And then once you get those, you should have landed somewhere near this area. And then from here, you can actually get the next few that are hanging off to the edge over there as well. So from here, once again, you want to press X and glide off over there. And it should be heading straight forward to these that are hanging off on the side over there and it should be on 14 now. So once you've gotten all of those, once again you want to head back just to where I was where I started off floating off and there should be the next few right over there as well. So once you're back at the area where you just hopped off last time, now you want to go on the right side over here and hop over to this purple building. So once you see it, now you can just glide over to that purple building and then right over here on this side should be the next few that you actually need to get right over here. So over here you just want to float off the edge and glide into these rings that are right over here. And this should take your total count up to to 19 once you get all of these over here. And then once again, you want to flow up one more time up to where we just were as there are still some more up in that area. So once you're back at this area once again, now you want to head over to the last side that we didn't go on and there are three that are floating off right over here on the edge. So over here, you want to go off the edge and you want to be careful so that you go straight forward and make sure that you actually hit all of these right over here. And that should take your total count up to 22 right over here. And for the next ones, they actually aren't that high up right over here. You can see that there are three in this this specific area right over here. So you just want to head over to this light blue building right over here. So from here, you should be able to reach those three right over there, but you want to back up a bit because you don't want to be too close and then fly over them right over here. So once you think you're good position, right over here, you can just fly off using the wing upgrade and then right over here, you can just float over to these three that are right over here. And that should take your total up to 25. And then from those five, the last five are actually up near this building right over here, the one that we're just climbing. So you just want to head over to this building and then you actually want to make your way up to the top right over there. So once you make your way to the top right over here, these are the last five they will need. So you can just glide from this point right over here at the top and you should make your way to those last five that are over here. And you kind of want to go a bit slower because these are actually lower than you might think. So you just want to go and kind of go off and slowly turn it towards that direction. So right over here, I'm going to turn on the right side and then turn slowly towards that path. So I'm going to turn over here 
and then make my way to this path over here. And if you find yourself flying too low, you can speed up to reach the rest of these. So right over there, I reached 30 out of 30, and I got the Star Wings badge right over there. So yeah, hopefully this story was a bit helpful to you guys. This is probably the hardest mission in this map currently, so it would definitely take you a couple of tries to actually reach these perfectly. But once you do get all 30, you should be ordered with the badge. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you guys, and you're able to get the Star Wings badge in Nightwave Dinner, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.